Hey guys, welcome back to another Jada Toys action figure review. Up for review is the alternate color version of Chun-Li in her exclusive Player 2 pink colors. Coming in a stylized sleeve cardboard box covering up the figure, we have a large in-game photo of Chun-Li's player select icon in her pink and gold colors as well as her name and the Street Fighter 2 logo. On the back of the sleeve we have artwork from her in-game stage with another Street Fighter logo. This exclusive packaging comes shrink wrapped in plastic requiring you to tear it off to open the box. Afterwards you can slowly slide out the cardboard sleeve revealing the package inside. We finally have a full view of the figure fully displayed with all of the accessories inside a cardboard sleeve themed after her stage. At the back we have another photo of Chun-Li displayed with their exclusive parts and the small icons of other characters released or planned to be. Opening the box from the bottom allows us to easily slide out the cardboard insert taking out the entire plastic tray with it that holds the figure and all of the accessories. Chun-Li is a classic staple of all Street Fighter games. Like Ryu she is a fan favorite and appears in most Street Fighter games after her debut in Street Fighter 2. Appearing in her pink and gold alternate player 2 color, Jada Toys has exclusively released this figure on the Next Level website where it first premiered at San Diego Comic Con. With new and exclusive alternate parts and the collectible packaging, this figure sold for slightly more than above the normal price but with extra accessories to make up for the difference in value. While the color changes have no impact in the video game, Street Fighter 2 would gain the ability to change colors in the Championship Edition. This version allowed mirror matches, fighting with the same characters on both sides. These color swaps were meant to prevent confusion. Now most of these combination of colors have become classic versions of the characters, with many of them have been kept even into the latest versions of the Street Fighter games. Let's take a look at the details of the figure. Small subtle differences can be seen here compared to the original version. This player 2 pink color has a smoother face, brown highlights in the hair, and what seems to be a more accurate and higher resolution application of paint details on the lips, eyes, and eyebrows. Compared to the original, there has been a clear upgrade over the last few months. More details can be seen on the side, including the strands in her hair being pulled back into those iconic white and gold hair buns as well as a large white earring on the ear. Brown highlights in the hair sculpt are on the back as well with more gold trim on the hair buns and more gold crosses on the edges of the strands hanging down from those buns. Moving on to the chest we have a slightly rigid texture to the pink dress, giving it a thick threaded effect in the sculpt. Golden swirls and flowers wrap around the body and chest of the figure, with both the neck collar and shoulders wrapped in that golden trim. Two large golden swirls share the center of the back where we can see more of that thick cloth texture on the dress. The puffy shoulders of the dress are sculpted in large wrinkles and folds with more golden trims at the center and edges of the sleeves, forming a flower-like petal design. Over at the arms we have the large spike cuff that Chun-Li wears, black with silver spikes. Her arms have a light muscle tone to them with the default installed hands being in a closed fist. The pink dress is tucked into the white cloth that wraps around the waist, where the rest of the pink dress flows out from underneath. Lots more wrinkles details the sculpts in this area, continue with more thick cloth texture into the sculpt with golden trimmed edges of the dress. The front of the dress flows all the way down to the knees with a few wrinkles in the sculpt and more gold trim to end the details. On the side the dress splits open revealing the thighs underneath in a darker skin colored type. At the split we have more of that golden trim with small swirls detailing the sides. Similar to the front the dress has wrinkles where it is held down by the white cloth wrapped around the waist. There is not much more details here in the sculpt other than more gold trim and that thick cloth texture. Unlike the front the dress splits into two sections here with the gold trim in between having small swirls at the center. Thanks to the dress split the thighs are revealed on the side showing off that dark skin colored tights and the thick muscle tone that Chun-Li is known for. Large white boots laced all the way up just to under the knee cover the entire leg of the figure, detailed with boot sections, laces, and wrinkles in the sculpt. We wrap up the details with the boots of the figure. Simple white boots detailed with laces at the center and small sections detailed into the sculpt as well as the sole of the shoes. Let's test out the articulation on the figure. Starting off with the head we have a ball joint here that allows rotation all over and a joint at the neck that allows it to bend forward and back a little bit, giving it a bit of a decent range to look downward. 
shoulders that open and rotate. And we should take note that this is one of the few figures without a butterfly joint here. We have rotation at the bicep, cleverly hidden in the sculpting. Double jointed elbows that have great range, only being stopped by the wrist spikes. Wrists that rotate and bend side to side. A ball joint at the chest that allows a bit of freedom of range here, as well as twisting. And another ball joint at the waist, combining both of them to get some great forward crunching and even more backbending. The thighs can open very wide and easily, and they bend forward and back with the butt sculpt blocking just a little bit of the backwards range. We have a simple cut into the thigh allowing rotation, although it is a bit ugly as the muscles will not line up anymore. Double jointed knees that bend backward with a pretty tight range. A cut at the lower legs of the boots that allows rotation and ankles that bend up and down and twist. Seen here with the original player one Chun-Li, we can see that they have the same exact sculpt of the figure. Both figures stand at six inches tall in the 112 scale. Jada Toys tends to run on the smaller size of that scale, especially with the shorter characters. All of the Jada figures scale very well with each other. While there are subtle height differences between characters of similar height, larger figures like Bison are much taller and larger giving this toy line a great range of variety when comparing height and size. Hasbro that runs in the same scale has a few figures that fit in perfectly with Jada toys, with the design of the figures being the major factor in the height of each figure, but still in a scale that looks great together. Figma figures that are on the smaller side of figures usually are actually a great size to compare Jada toys to. They really don't look out of place and other than being much more thin compared to the muscly Street Fighters. McFarlane in their own 7 inch scale will always tower over 6 inch figures, especially when compared to Jada toys that usually run on the smaller size of the 6 inch figures. And lastly we have Mythic Legions that are on the 6 inch size of figures but often run much larger and taller. As you can see the scales between companies vary greatly. Starting off with the accessories we have the exclusive laughing head sculpt, featuring closed eyes, an open mouth and matching gold trim details. We get another laughing head, exactly the same as the last one, except this one has yellow trims matching the player one colors. An open mouth angry screaming expression with gold trim details. Swapping the head is very easy, but it's always a good idea to heat up the socket to remove more easily. It's the same for the alternate player one head color. It fits just like the normal heads do and has the matching yellow trim. Exclusive to this set is the Peace Jester Hand, with two fingers opened in the V-shape, seen and used in Chun-Li's Victory animation. Also exclusive is a more softer closed fist, unlike the original with exaggerated knuckles. We have a set of left and right open palm hands in a striking position. The hand joints are extremely tiny, although they are durable, it's always much easier to remove and install when heated up. Pegging the new hands is easy and poses just as easy as the original. Also exclusive to this set is the Kikoken Fireball Effect, made out of a hard clear plastic with a smaller fireball effect at the center matching the in-game sprite very well. We also get the 100 Lightning Kick Effect, made out of a softer clear plastic and an impressive color fading effect. We get a single clear stand with articulation for both effects. The stand has two points of articulation and fits both effects very easily. The sockets on each effect are the same size and hold securely. And just like the original Chun-Li, the kicking effect does fit the feet of Chun-Li resting comfortably into any of the effect sockets. Again, I'm always impressed with Jada toys. They have such good quality for the price and the player two colors were something I expected from the start even before they were announced. So this player 2 color, while expected, still blew me away with the added extra accessories, especially the laughing face and gestures, something I originally requested in my original review of the player 1 Chun-Li. One thing I did not expect was the quality to go up. The improvements on the face paint and the accuracy and resolution of that dot matrix style paint application was very noticeable, with the colors being more crisp, accurately applied, and less of that dot spillage that we saw on the first version. 
With Jada Toys slowly releasing more series of figures, it's looking really good for them. As the quality is seemingly going up while keeping that same low price, it really feels like they're making all the smart decisions right now. I am really excited for that Cyberpunk series coming out from them. You have to love that victory face and that peace sign. It's something that gives the figure much more life on the shelf and is fun to change and pose with, giving the figures a ton of posing value. The included player one head was a nice addition, but I don't know if this is the way I'm going to want to see upgrades to the older versions of the figure. I guess it's better than a re-release with more parts, as I wouldn't want two of the exact same figure, but for now I'll just take it as a nice gesture from Jada Toys. The differences between the original release, besides the colors, is an added fireball effect, a set of hands, and two alternate heads, while the price only increased by $5. I was already happy with what I was getting in the original version, but I think the upgrade is completely worth the added price. I was hesitant to get the red Chun-Li version as it didn't add much to my collection, but I think Jada Toys hit a great sweet spot with this deluxe version, featuring more parts and a deluxe box that looks great on the shelf as well. I don't know how many alternate colors I'm personally going to get, but at this low price and the value of the added accessories, it's honestly not that hard of a decision to get multiple versions of characters that you really like. Chun-Li, Ryu, and Ken are all classics that already have multiple versions offering more accessories and features, and I think as long as Jada Toys can continue to provide this great value, I'll keep getting them. When it comes to Street Fighter, there are quite a few competing brands but nothing as easy to enter as this series from Jada Toys. And while this version is an online exclusive, as of this review, they're still up for grabs online, and it doesn't look like they'll sell out anytime soon either. With a great range of poses, great accessories, and at a great value, Jada Toys is doing an incredible job with its current figures, and I'm honestly excited to see the rest of the Street Fighter series and any other series they come out with. If you have the player one color already, I would say that this pink version is unique enough on its own to pick up. Especially if you're a fan of Chun-Li, they're just at a price point that doesn't hurt too bad to collect multiple versions of. Alright guys, that's it for this review. Leave a comment letting me know how you like this figure, hit that like button, subscribe, or share this video with your friends to help out the channel.